Welcome to our continuing YouTube video series on employment law. My name is Christopher Newfeld of Newfeld Legal. And in this particular video, we will be discussing what is termination for cause or firing for cause. Well, such a termination refers to a dismissal or firing of an employee by the employer where there is not the requirement to provide any notice of their termination or any payment in lieu of their termination due to the severity of the actions perpetrated by the employee such that there is a reason within the law and this is specific even to the jurisdiction and based on the facts for the employee to have been terminated by the employer of such a severity. So some of the principles that one looks at from the most broad sense is that the conduct that was undertaken by the employee that precipitated this firing or termination was so fundamentally and egregiously inconsistent with the employee's obligations to their employee or it was substantially prejudicial to the employer's business that it necessitated this immediate and serious termination that wherein damages could have been caused to the employer by the actions of the employee such that the employer had no choice but to act. And what kind of instances can give rise to a termination for cause? Well, the employee is guilty of theft or fraud in the workplace. He is, the individual is consistently and persistently dishonest. Um, they are habitually incompetent. They are neglectful in their duties, even when they have been reminded as to the necessity to act in a more efficient way and to fulfill the rules and obligations that are expected of them. Likewise, the employee may have been sub insubordinate, temperamental, and willfully disrespectful and disobedient to their supervisor, even when they've been reprimanded before. They have been intoxicated, whether by alcohol or drugs, or both, in the workplace. They have been repeatedly, excessively, and without justification, either late or absent from their work on multiple occasions, having been informed as, as the importance of their tardiness, and not taking seriously. They have harassed and abused other employees in the workplace or clients, customers, or just people that they interact with. And they are, may well be guilty of other misconduct. Now, these factors can be the basis for terminating one without cause. Nevertheless, the reality is that even with such instances, the severity and the egregiousness of this conduct must be incredibly severe for it to succeed. Because there are instances where one would think the employer had been fully justified in terminating without cause. And when it nevertheless proceeds before the courts, the courts or the employment tribunals have disagreed with the employer and have put forward a more lenient standard, especially where the employee argues uh, other circumstances, other considerations, whether or not they're true, whether or not they're fully honest. Nevertheless, the employer must recognize that the severity is such that pushing so far as to do termination for cause is something that they must be seriously contemplating 
in consultation with legal counsel to protect themselves and to afford themselves the best approach to dealing with this. And this should be taken prior to the termination so that the right decision is made and the legal ramifications are limited. So once again, as with most employment situations, so much is dependent on the facts, but also the law, the case law, the legislation, and how that has been interpreted by the case law in one's jurisdiction. And equally important, how the particular facts will be interpreted by the particular judge in light of circumstances surrounding the employment situation, which I trust has been helpful in clarifying what termination for cause may well consist of. And we will talk to you again on other matters of employment law. Thank you.